Hello again, Ms. Julie here with another craft or story from the public library. Today we're going to make magic wands, specifically magic bubble wands. If you're able to pop into the library, you can pick up a kit, and the kit contains most of what you'll need to make the magic wand. It'll have a stick. Now I used kebab sticks where I cut off the point. But you can use most any kind of stick, a dowel rod, or even a stick from outside if it's even enough. Then there's the wire. See, there's a little piece of wire in there. When you straighten it out, you can turn it into any shape. Then there's some beads. Now the beads are all sorts of kinds. This one has a big hole in it so that you can fit both the wire and the stick into it when you glue it together. The rest of the beads are all just cute little colorful fun beads. And that's what you'll get if you come to the library. If you can't get to the library, it's pretty easy to have all the stuff you'll need to make them anyway. You'll need the sticks, like I said, kebab stick, dowel rod, stick wire. Um, sometimes any wire will do. I'm sorry to say a pipe cleaner will probably not be sufficient, but most any kind of scrap wire will work. Just about any bead will do, as long as the holes are big enough to fit around the stick. Pony beads work out fine, and if you can get one of those little mix bags, you can probably find a bead that has a big enough hole to fit the wires as well as the stick. There are lots of adhesives you can use to glue it together, but I used a glue gun because it was the easiest. Get an adult to help you. I recommend wire cutters to cut the wire, and maybe pliers if you want to do some fine bending. It's a lot of fun to put on some frills and extras, but you don't have to. For my first one, I decided to color the stick. I took a Sharpie because I didn't want it to come off on my hands. A water-based marker will come off on your hands. Oops, I got ink on my fingers anyway, but still, I have a nice green stick now. I like to use a variety of beads. I took this one because I thought, ooh, bling, nice little sparkly guy to put on the end. Then I used a few other green beads, including the bead that has the largest hole in it. That way you can fit the wires and the stick into it when it's done. I put some more beads on it and I set it aside then. I'm going to make a star now out of this yellow piece of wire. First thing I'll do is straighten it out. If it's straight, it's easier to work with and you can approximate how much wire you'll need to make the shape you're going to make. In this case, I'm going to make a star. When I think I have enough and maybe a little extra, I'll cut it with some wire cutters. I'll show you a way to make a star. First you fold the wire in half, kind of bend it nice and tight little corner. That'll be the top point of your star. I'm going to make a five pointed star. So after that, I'll make two more points on either side of this. You can line them all up when you start out so that they're all nice and even. It should come out looking a little like this. Then you can bring the ends around and it looks a little flower or leaf-like. After you do that, you take the sides of each one and you open them up a little bit so that when you finally bring it around, voila, it's a star. Once I got the star pretty much the shape I wanted it, it's time to figure out how to fit it on the wand. Then I would take the stick line it up and see how much of the yellow wire I want to trim off of it before I glue it together with the glue gun. You can tweak it all you like. Snip, snip, and now it's just a matter of gluing it all together. First I'll glue the beads on the end by my little sparkly bling bead. Then I'll slide the beads I want at the end with the star onto the stick, but I won't glue it down yet until I've glued the star and the end bead on. After that, it's just a matter of sliding up the other beads and gluing them in place. I put the glue on the stick first and then just slide the beads into place. Making the heart wand is very similar. Sticks, beads, wire heart, that's all the same things go into this one. You glue them all together, put the beads on, stick the heart on the top, and you've done it. You've done another. The moon one's almost the same thing, except this time I decided to do something different with the handle. 
So after I had put the stick together and glued the beads and put the little moon on it, I took a fancy pipe cleaner and I glued that under the little last bead there, the little butterfly bead, and then I wrapped it around the stick. Tucked it into a bead on the other end and then glued it in. So there it is, three bubble wands and an extra one thrown in for luck. All you need now is the bubble stuff. I hope you enjoyed making bubble wands and good luck with your bubble blowing. Thanks for joining us and I hope you come back for more crafts and stories from the public library.